and, and they felt that overall the benefits far outweighed the disadvantages. In regard to district elections, uh, the task force made a recommendation not at this time to go to district elections, I recommended that the council may want, wish to review this uh, in five years as the city continues to grow. It looked at the fact that, that there was uh, a great deal of diversity on the city council and has historically remained in, in, in all ways, whether it be ethnicity, income, education, regardless of the criteria that you would look at diversity, uh, the city council on central seems to have been in that uh, situation and been very well diversified. It also was concerned to some extent about if you broke into districts, the available pool of candidates could, could be impacted significantly. If you look at the total number of candidates that typically run an election, it's four or five. You start breaking that down into four or five <coughs> districts, and you could really limit the, the number of, of, of uh, available choices in a, in a specific district. The third issue, which was even year elections, the, the task force recommends to the council that it do consider, it does consider moving to even years. It, it did uh, take into um, the aspect that there, there, there may be and, 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 and can be an additional cost uh, for that, uh, as I explained earlier in regard to the county. But it did feel that the benefits of doubling the turnout of the election far outweighed uh, the the uh, what they felt were overall, the committee felt was a, a fairly insignificant amount of money to get it, uh, a, a much higher turnout. On um, the selection of the mayor, uh, the task force discussed it, uh, was fairly well split uh, on two ways of going about that and, and uh, decided that uh, in the best interest, it would be best to send it without a uh, recommendation to the council uh, and, did, and, and for, for the council to discuss any, any movement. So those are the recommendations to council. I'll certainly, um, coming out of the task force, excuse me, I will certainly entertain uh, myself and Mr. Silva any questions or, or comments. Uh, as I stated, those are the uh, recommendations of the task force. I, I concur with those, but I'd like to at some point reserve some time for my own individual comments. I think Mr. Silva, uh, as a councilman, would also like to, in, in regard to our personal um, uh, recommendations uh, on the board. Are there any comments from the city council? What I think I will do is go through each of us. I'm going to start off here. I have a number two. So the city council is considered as a plan for the fiscal directions in regards to the council seats. I support the uh, task force recommendation to not go to district elections. Um, my own situation, I reflected my tenure on the city council that actually served with three other mayors that all lived within three blocks of myself. So I think that there'd be a limiting factor if we went to district elections. Right now, I feel I represent everyone throughout the city, and I, I'd rather be elected by the entire city as opposed to within a tiny little district. Plus, I think that Mr. Eddie's point is would weed out candidates that are otherwise um, certainly well qualified. Um, Larry Brogan, Mayor Castillo, Rosanna Moore, and myself all live within a few blocks. And so I, I support the recommendation of the task force to not move to district. Mr. Mayor, you're going to have to Yes. Right, but what we're going to do is as we go through each one with the public would like to come up, oh, wow. then we will do it that way. Okay. If, let me make this statement to the public, uh, we have quite a few slips up here, and I know that some of you have a just simply asked that you will uh, be acknowledged that you don't have to come up here and speak, and we certainly want to thank you for that. But those of you who are going to speak, and there are a few, if you have someone ahead of you that's saying exactly what you would have liked to have said, please allow us an opportunity to move this quickly, and you don't have to get up and say the same thing. So if you have something different to add, 
squeezed by all of you. I'm not to do that. But we would like it if we could keep it just to the meat and bones, the things that are really, really important that you want to get off your chest. And we would certainly appreciate it if you would follow those guidelines. So let's go ahead and vote on Number two, Mr. Mayor, I concur with the fact that the committee recommendation, I agree with Mrs. Walker, I do like the at-large election. I do think it gives uh, the public a much better perspective that their issues are being addressed and not singling out a particular district where individuals would have a tendency to believe that one particular portion of their city would be are represented in some slightly different manner. So I, I agree with this, the at large. Um, and of course, we're not doing it any more number one because we are arguing. We're going to discuss that. Each separately. So we're talking about district elections right now. Okay. 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 So you wanted to skip number no, one? No, we're going to come back to this. That's going to be the last one. Oh. Um, this is Mr. Mayor, just a final comment. I, 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 concur with my colleagues, obviously, that, that it, it wasn't the appropriate time. But, but I do think it's significant that we did review it. In, in, in part of our review and research, that, that I alluded to this earlier, there, there are many cities that have been forced by court order to go to district elections. So that's based and, on and, the right cases. Well, for a variety, lack of representation in certain areas, civil rights cases. But, and, and the only reason I said, I think it was beneficial for us to review that, because I think we now have on record that the task force took time to review the issues to make sure that we didn't see any issues with that. And I think that should help us go forward, and that's why the recommendation was that we need to do it in five years, uh, just so that we're staying on top of it so that nobody can come, come back and say that we hadn't addressed it. No, I, I, in this case, I did concur with the, uh, the recommendation of the task force, and I just think that the city is not large enough yet for uh, this recommendation, so I, I concur. I just want to tell the audience that you want to say something that everyone else has already said. You don't have to come up and say it, so I'm not going to say anything that was already said. So let's go. Do you need a motion to accept the recommendation? Motion. Some of us. 